I love it. So we can go to the next picture. Um, the bathroom didn't really do a whole lot of paint, new vanity, new toilet, um, new flooring in there. We had to fix it some more, um, so not too bad. This was, this is kind of the sad part. So this was a kid's room, um, and you can't see the floor. Um, this is when, so when I hired somebody to do the clean out, um, and I was like, hey, I'll just kind of sneak in one night, I'll help them out, put some stuff in the bags and stuff, so I was there, just grabbing all that stuff, put it in bags, and I saw, on the floor, I saw like, like three peach pits underneath all this stuff. I'm like, you know what, like, sometimes an apple pit or a peach pit kind of gets away with me, or I miss the trash can or something like that. Um, so I'm like, it's not, not a big deal. And, and then I realized it wasn't a peach pit. It was, it was poop and it was, it was petrified. Like not that the poop was scared, like it was, it was old and all that. <laughs> it was like fuzzy and it was so, it was petrified poop under all of this stuff and it was everywhere, right? I thought it was like, you know, pits or something. It was, it was, it was cat poop all over and this is the kids room. So it was um, a significant clean out. Um, a lot of just, there was stuff like cat poop was in the, like the, baseboard hot water registers and stuff like that. So a lot of like wet dry back vacuuming of that stuff and hair everywhere. I mean, and you're a property manager, so you know, you've seen that, right? Like it's, yeah, pretty nasty stuff to try to get it out of those little bins, right? I love cats. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, but that was the room afterwards. And then here's some of the, um, the ash from the kitchen. And they had um, one large fridge and three um, mini fridges, all of which had extremely rotten food in it. Um, so on the left side, on the top where the freezer portion is, there's three frozen pizzas, right? And the frozen pizzas had rotten through like the cardboard that the pizza was on, and it had eaten through the plastic that encased the pizza and eaten through the like the you know the hard paper, and it had all melted together, right? Um, <laughs> was the power off on this? No. So the <laughs> freezer was still cold. It, all the fridges were still running, still full, but the food had completely rotten through. How long was this house empty, vacant for? It was not vacant. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. So the, again, the sad thing is, what was that? Did you have to evict the person? So uh, it was interesting. So um, bought the property, and I was like, hey, listen, and I. And I um, I love messing with people, right? And I do lie quite a bit. I thought you said honesty. Yeah, yeah. When I'm property managing, I lie to tenants, right? And it's not like the worst lies. Like, I, I lie, none of the buildings that I own, um, they are not aware that I'm the owner. I lied to say I'm a property manager and investors with building. So I'm like, hey, listen, I want to help you out. I would love for you to stay. Investors have a different idea, and I'll work with, right? It's like that kind of stuff. So I want to be on their side. Um, so we talked a little bit, and I'm like, and she told me, she's like, I know I gotta leave. I'm like, yeah, you, you do. Like, just let me know. Uh, I want to be sensitive. She's got kids in there, so I want to be sensitive. Gave her plenty of time because I need to come up with a plan too. So I need to line up stuff. So I, I needed some time. I don't have crews just standing at the ready. Um, so she she left like she about a month and a half, and then I get a phone call. She's like, I'm out. The keys are here. And um, you know, just just so you know, uh, you know, I, I, I did live, leave a few things. I have a small car, and I can't take it all. I'm like, okay, <laughs> and it was just all there. <laughs> and, and the funny thing is, the trash that she had outside was there for months. Because I remember when they drive by that house, there's just bags of trash outside, and she just didn't move it to the curb. But they, you know, that's just I don't know what it is. Um, great for me, but it was just, that's what it, what it was. So it was a porter house uh, with a cat problem, with cat food problem, and um, it caught fire. What is that in your hand right there? So that is the ash from the inside the walls of the kitchen. So we took down a few of the walls, uh, just because they had like this, um, you know, this, this cardboard on it, it just didn't look good, we want to drywall the cabinets up, so we took that off, and we, we saw all the, the studs and stuff like that, and it was just charred. Um, and so that was all the crumbling ash from inside each bay. Um, so the highlights. Um, when, when trying to get the appliances out and measuring doors, we realized that all of the doors were put in after the appliances were put in. And they were all smaller than the appliances. So I couldn't get the fridge out. 
so that was that was interesting. So we we I did took one door and pulled it out and put it in a new door. And what we found is they took it like a door frame, which was like probably a 36, and they put in like a 32 door within the frame of the old door. It was still there. Um, so we just took that out and, and you know, reframed the bigger door. Um, they did find a two and a half foot long rat in a pot in the basement. It was dead, but it was in a pot. So it like kind of found its way in, couldn't get out. Um, two, a total of two five gallon buckets of cat food were removed. Um, because of the smell, I bought an ozone machine and it ran it for like six, seven, eight days just straight. Um, we did have four fridges, uh, three of them were like mini fridges, just packed full of food. We're talking like packed, packed full of food. Um, and like a lot of like organic chicken, organic beef, like a lot of just food, right? Um, and it, it had a fire. Uh, so lessons learned, the smell of success, that it is awesome. Um, and it's a lot of fun when things go right, like the numbers are right. I was not expecting it to appraise for it that high. I was not expecting a check back in my hand. That went well. Um, it was hard finding good tenants. It's not the best, it's not like, it's not the best area. It's definitely not the worst area, like the tree streets in Nashville, those are, those are worse. Um, but it wasn't the easiest finding a tenant. Um, and it didn't have a bathtub, it had a stand up shower. So for a single family in a three bedroom, there's a lot, a lot of like families with kids. And I just, it didn't occur to me, even though I, I have a family with kids that uh, you would need a bathtub and just didn't think about that. Um, I also didn't really, didn't, didn't check the bathroom much when I walked through it for the first time because it was just, I just didn't want to be in the house. Uh, it, so this was, um, it was still like COVID thing, right? And so like, it just wasn't great going in there. So I didn't really want to spend much time in there. Uh, we did um, nicer kitchen cabinets and a granite countertop. And so in all of my units, I do all granite just because the cost difference from these remnants is really not that much more. And um, they I, I think that they tend to be more durable than like Formica and other stuff. But it really wasn't that much more to put in a nicer kitchen. Uh, even the appraiser, when they showed up, said, oh, you overdid the kitchen, but it looked awesome, right? So she knows too, or she knew too, but the price was probably 500 or $1,000. Um, get it rented really fast, like time kills everything, right? So just get it rented fast. Um, do the floors last? It was a real struggle to get, um, like with everybody that's dealing with this, like getting contractors on site at a timely fashion. So um, I had a floor, floor people that said, hey, we have some availability next week. And I'm like, oh, well, great. Let me just do it out of order. And I'll just get the floors in and people do all the stuff afterwards. Um, and then what you end up with is everybody's dropping stuff on the floor, paint is going on the floor, again, more paint is going on the floor, and then you have a huge cleaning issue afterwards, and I probably should have just waited and got everything done and then just done the floors like I was planning on, um, but I was trying to take advantage of their availability, and in hindsight, um, probably should have just waited. Um, oh, and if you see fridges and the stuff like that, <coughs> pay the fee, right? So I had a clean-out crew, and they're like, oh yeah, it was, 2400 2500 bucks. I'm like, but for all of the <coughs> fridges, it's $200 for a hazmat fee. And I'm like, my town dump takes them for free. So, you know, I'll just, for a fridge, I'll just move it, I'll put it in the truck, and I'll just have <laughs> it, pay the fee. Like, just pay it. Just do it. Um, you know, when one, when you get sprayed with pizza, like <laughs> liquid pizza, it's just, just pay it. <laughs> you, you make your money back later. Yeah. Um,